Uh, okay, so give me your thoughts on the Supreme Court over in Colorado. Well, I think the Supreme Court in Colorado is overreached. I think once again, we're seeing this lawfare being carried out against Donald Trump. And, you know, if whether you like Donald Trump or you hate Donald Trump, to see all these different prosecutions and see these different rulings uh, makes you wonder what is, wait, is the is the legal system even credible anymore? And my problem is, is this is, again, it was down political lines and it was a very critical issue on a on an issue that was the, the 14th Amendment. We all know was meant to uh, empower the, the former slaves, make sure they had absolute rights and also to punish the Confederacy. That war has been over a little while now. And to apply that law for the first time in that in that way, in such a stretch, no Trump has not been convicted of insurrection. And with all these questions uh, surrounding January 6th now are coming to light, for this to happen just really makes the, the, the judges themselves look silly. And I do believe it'll be reversed by the Supreme Court. Very quickly, you said that you, you believe it's down political lines. I believe that's because all the justices were appointed by Democrats. And they were all Democrats. Okay. Let's get play ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, so people, just so people understand. Um, okay. So, uh, okay. My, my final question uh, then is this. Um, why do you think they went down this road? I don't know. You know what I've seen constantly now is the laws being stretched. You know, I was a law enforcement officer and we follow the law. And again, usually with criminal codes, there is some legislative intent. But with many of these laws, they're stretching the legislative intent. And we've seen over and over and over again where they're taking like, let's take the the financial cases in New York. There are things that have never been done before, things that are obviously biased are being are occurring constantly. The same time, you know, we keep waiting. Wait, when is the law going to be equally distributed among all people? The, the whole image of justice is she's got a blindfold on. Now she appears to be peeking out from under that blindfold and scolding a certain side and not another. And this, frankly, it, it's... It, in our in our society, it goes against everything we believe in, and everything I believed in as a law enforcement officer. Okay, um, do you think Trump will be on the ballot? You know, it's funny. My son's a betting man. I'm not, and he's putting money on it. So I have to say, probably yes. <laughs> okay, all right. I appreciate your time, sir. I'm trying to make it quick, down, dirty, and easy. Thank you so much. We look forward to talking to you in the future, especially with 2024 coming up. I expect to have you on a lot. Thank you, Michael. Thank yeah, you. All right, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye.